DC networks with voltage level up to 1500 volts became widely used in the modern world. Like a blood circulatory system in human body, a DC network provides power for all significant circuits of control, protection and automation, alarm and emergency lighting at substations, power stations, and industrial facilities. Besides that, DC networks are implemented in uninterruptible power supply systems, industrial electrolysis plants for aluminum and hydrogen production, medical electrical installations, solar power stations, marine electrical installations, rolling stocks, air transport, and even in electric vehicles and their charging stations. A sufficient level of insulation resistance in DC power supply system is an important factor of power object secondary systems functioning. A reduction in insulation resistance leads to leakage current increase, which can lead to a failure of the control system of the main equipment at the facility. Or, on the contrary, to false and excessive operation of the equipment. Insulation monitoring devices of ECRA production are applied in up to 1,500 volts DC networks and perform a continuous monitoring of several parameters, value of network insulation resistance is among them. Our company develops and produces systems of insulation monitoring in DC networks since 2006. Based on a great number of scientific research, we have developed unique technical solutions, registered patents. Now more than 1,000 sets of our insulation monitoring systems are successfully used at substations, power plants, and industrial enterprises in Russia and other countries. Our solutions ensure reliable and timely detection of damaged DC network sections, prevent emergency situations, thereby reducing the equipment downtime and your expenses for troubleshooting. The equipment range of ECRA allows you to organize. Continuous monitoring of insulation resistance level between the DC system and Earth. Possibility of manual measurement of insulation resistance of feeders. Automatic detection of feeders with damaged insulation. Temporary connection of a standalone portable set of insulation monitoring system. And also, functional check of insulation monitoring systems already installed at the power facility. Installation of the IMF01 in the DC network is the simplest and most cost-effective solution for continuous monitoring of the insulation resistance level between the DC system poles and earth. The setting is specified using a switch on the front panel of relay. When the network insulation resistance reduces below the setting value, the device closes the contacts of the emergency output relay, at the same time, an LED on the front panel lights up indicating the damaged pole. The IMF02 relay is also used to monitor the level of insulation resistance between the DC system poles and earth and determine the damaged pole. However, unlike IMF01, it has a possibility to specify two setting values that control different output contacts, as well as the option to measure network capacitance and voltages between poles and earth. In addition, IMR02 has an option to transfer information to automation system via the RS-485 interface using the Modbus RTU protocol. After receiving information about reduction in the insulation resistance level of the pole from insulation monitoring relay, the damaged feeder can be detected manually, by successive measuring the resistance of each of the feeders using a portable insulation monitoring device. The portable insulation monitoring device is used together with all ECRA insulation monitoring systems. It measures insulation resistance up to 100 kilom. The portable insulation monitoring device is made in the form of a measuring unit with current clamp attached to it. The current clamp is used to measure the differential current when covering the positive and negative wires of the feeder. The result of the insulation resistance is displayed. An important fact is that there is no need to organize a communication channel of a portable device with insulation monitoring relay. Thus, the combination of IMR01 or IMR02 with a portable insulation monitoring device is the minimum budget solution for detecting a feeder with reduced insulation at the facility. Measurement method of insulation resistance of network poles and feeders is based on the measurement of voltages across positive and negative poles relative to earth and current in the diagonal of bridge circuit when resistors are alternately connected to the network poles. 
The following formula is used for calculation of insulation resistance of network poles. In the numerator, the battery voltage value and voltage across the positive and negative poles when resistors are alternately connected, and a module of current difference of ampere meter in the denominator. The advantage of this insulation resistance measurement method is that there are no sources of injected currents. At facilities without a stationary insulation monitoring system, a standalone portable insulation monitoring system can be used for temporary connection and checking the insulation level of DC power supply system. The portable insulation monitoring system is made on the basis of the IMR02 device in a shockproof suitcase. The package also includes a portable insulation monitoring device and a set of wires for connection. When needed, for implementation of automated detection of feeder with damaged insulation, an insulation monitoring system consisting of a head device and a differential current sensor shall be installed. Differential current sensors installed in feeders measure feeder insulation resistance. Value of feeder insulation resistance is calculated by the formula, or a difference of differential currents, flowing through the feeder when resistors are alternately connected to positive and negative poles stands for the denominator. Differential current sensors are stationary, one for each monitored feeder. Insulation monitoring IED connects to the DC power supply system poles and measures the insulation resistance at network poles. Differential current sensors are installed on every feeder and connected to IED via RS-485 interface. The IMD-01, IMD-02 or ED-2 can be used as head units. The IMD-01 can be used for DC power supply systems with both 1 and 2 batteries. For IMD-01, the mode of joint operation of two head units having a backup connection between them is also available. Measured, calculated, and received values can be displayed on the device and transmitted to automation system via the Ethernet interface using the IEC 60870-5-104 Modbus TCP protocols. For a DC network, it is also possible to use a simplified series of the IMD-02 head unit. This device can transmit data to automation system only via the RS-485 interface using the Modbus RTU protocol. Since 2023, the second generation head unit made on the basis of ED-2 series IEDs, has become available. It is recommended for use in new projects to replace IMD-01. The device has a graphical display and can optionally perform the function of event recorder in the DC power supply system. For IEDs based on ED-2, data transfer to automation system is available using the data transfer protocols Modbus RTU, Modbus TCP, IEC 60870-5-103, IEC 60870-5-104, IEC 61850. Thus, to organize an insulation monitoring system with automatic detection of a feeder with damaged insulation, it is necessary to install a head unit and one differential current sensor for each monitored feeder. A damaged feeder can also be identified manually using a portable insulation monitoring device. If it is necessary to monitor the insulation resistance of a network with a voltage in the range from 300 to 1500 volts, a relay adapter is used to connect the relay and the head unit. The relay adapter is a voltage divider that reduces the actual value of the monitored network to the level allowed for operation of the insulation monitoring device. Before commissioning, any system must be checked for correct operation according to the set parameters. 
The insulation monitoring system tester is used to check the operation of installed or commissioned insulation monitoring systems of any complexity and manufacturers. The tester is equipped with a built-in set of capacitances and resistors for simulating the DC power supply system and changing its parameters. A range of insulation resistance monitoring devices developed by ECRA ensures reliable power supply of relay protection equipment with no false actuation thanks to its cooperation with the equivalent of a standard T-bridge insulation resistance monitoring circuit, low voltage imbalance of network poles, continuous monitoring of voltage at network poles. Functional features of our devices are Detection of symmetrical reductions of insulation resistance of poles. Stable measurement of insulation resistance of poles with relative error of 20% with the capacity of the monitored network at 200 microfarads. All measurements and monitoring of the resistance level of feeders are carried out without disconnecting consumers from the network. Viewing current operation mode, state of monitored network and feeders, archive of events and errors via web interface. Operational setting of sensors addresses in the information network. Visual monitoring of reduction in insulation resistance of feeders and errors of front panel sensors. ECRA Training Center offers a wide range of training opportunities to make sure you get the most out of your insulation monitoring product. We will help you learn the theory and practice the skills of working with our devices. It is possible to conduct training in English and online.